My name is Joe Renteria. I was born in Emporia, Kansas, July 17, 1917. I served 20 years in the United States Navy and retired as a chief of Air Force mate, and I am a member of the Cherokee Nation. My life has been quite a journey, filled with so many experiences that I would have never dreamt possible. The bombs was dropping around and everything. We just went ahead and ducked down into the gully that we had here. I went ahead and took the photographs. As you can see, there's a plane coming over. I couldn't get to the to the ditch yet. And they, oh yeah, you're scared. That's that's for sure. Boy, this is no one. <laughs> now, I'm only allowed to work till 10 o'clock, my union says. <laughs> oh, boy. During World War II, after Pearl Harbor was bombed, as we took over one island, before we went to the next one, we went ahead and, and photographed it completely. We didn't know nothing about these islands. When we came in afterwards, we had photographs. We knew the time the tide would come up, when to drop our landing gear so we could also get our tanks and everything else in there. The first time I went up and I was standing there, attention, handing the pictures to the lieutenant to give them to him. I wasn't supposed to talk to the admiral. And the officer said, well, bring them. Well, forgot all about protocol. I just turned around and walked to the admiral. The admiral said, from now on, you bring them to me. That was Admiral Halsey, and I worked throughout the war with him. There was a lot of times that they would see us coming in, and we were fired on, definitely. And flak is coming at you, and my pilot is moving, diving. Yes, there was many, many times I said, uh, Lord, uh, you got to get me through this because I want to go back and see my wife, you know, and my children. You know, at times like that, start to thinking about, you know, I never did pray much. If you try to tell somebody that, no, I wasn't scared, I was, you run gun hole and everything. Yeah, you were gun hole, all right, but you better believe it. You were also scared. Yeah, you did your job. Many, many men did a good job out there, and many, many of them got killed because they did a doggone good job. Have you ever had somebody uh, open a door or something behind you and slam it, and you didn't know they were back there and everything, and your hair in the back of your neck stood kind of up? That's the way this was. You're scared, but you got a job to do. And your emotions in your body are overruled by the job that you're doing. You evade everything else in your mind, but get that picture, period. <laughs>